Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn a bit more about organizing our test cases and then learning the good approaches when you are writing your API test cases. So within Postman, say for example, we have a couple of requests here, right? For example, get instance info uh, and this is my Jira cloud instance. So if I send this in the response, I'm getting 200. If it is a success request, I'm getting 200. Okay. Similarly for get projects, I'm getting 200. Okay. Right. So there will be APIs within your project that will have a positive response and the response will be 200 or success response. Right. So, and you will be testing all of these responses. For example, unauthorized uh, responses or unauthorized access will be applicable for each of the APIs as well. So how we are going to say, for example, I'm going to write the test here for 200. Okay. Okay. And this is my test case. Okay. So for this get instance info, I'm trying to validate that the status code is actually 200, right? So I have written the, the test and I'm validating that this is actually true or this test passes when get instance info is run and when I'm going to see the response, right? So the, the response is 200. Okay. And that is why the test result is actually the status code is passed. Okay. Similarly, if I have to write the test for the get projects, whether the response is 200 okay or not. So I'll write the same test case here as well. Okay. So let me quickly go back and copy paste that particular test here. Okay. So same test case will be applicable here as well because I'm validating just the response. Okay. So same test case will be applicable here for same test case for the get project feature. If I'm trying to validate the response code for this particular API endpoint as well, get project feature, then get all issue type as well. If you go back here, okay. If I send this and in the response, you will see it will give 200. Okay. If the response is successful. So in order to test the response code here for this API as well, the same test case, right? Now you'll see in order to test this particular response for each of these API, we have to duplicate the same test case in each of these APIs, right? In each of these get call. Is there a better way to approach it, right? So one of the way you can think of is that we go back. Okay. So for example, if you go back here, okay, simply we copy this particular test and we go back to this Jira API testing folder level. Okay. At this level, you'll see that you have this overview authorization, pre-request script, test variable, etc. at this collection level as well. Okay. So I can simply go ahead and write the same test case at this particular level. Okay. So you will see that these tests will execute after every request in this collection, right? So in this collection after every request. So that means any request that we have here okay and any request that we have in this folder in response code test and anything below this this test case will be executed so is this a better approach okay so let me save this okay and let's see what will be the problem in this particular case okay so for example we have the response code test as well below this particular folder jira api testing collection right so this this request if I go ahead and hit which is 401 unauthorized. Okay, let's see what happens if I send this particular request and go to the test results. You will see status code is 200 assertion expected response to have status code 200 but got 401. Where is this coming from? Okay, if we go to the request editor here and see the test, we just have one test case here which is status code is 401. So the test case, the, the failing test case that is here there are two test cases right so you will see that there are if i minimize this you will see there are two test cases okay one of so one is failing this one test case which is basically status code to code 200 it is coming from the collection level okay so if i expand the sidebar you will see that we have defined this particular test case at the collection level that means for each of the request below this collection this test case that you define at a collection level will be applicable now, because this request is testing 401 response, so 200 is not valid for this, right? So it's not a good idea to define the test case at the collection level wherein you have different response code APIs as well. Okay. So it's better not to define it here. Okay. I'll save it. And the better approach is to define or to create a new folder below this. Okay. So I'll click on new folder, add folder. 
okay and then i will say i'll rename this folder as success response so whatever name you want to specify to this particular folder okay and then what we need to basically do is any success or 200 ok response apis that you want to test you simply drag and drop all of those to this particular folder okay so we have move say for example four apis okay below this particular folder right so below success response if you see we have four apis now if you see at the folder level as well we have the authorization okay and then we have pre-request script and test as well so that means we can specify the test here 200 uh, to test the response code 200 and that will be applicable for all the apis that are below there so right so if you go to this folder here you will see that these tests will execute after every request in this folder right so you can see the postman execution order we will discuss anyways about that but then now this particular test once i'll save it this is applicable for each of these requests right so we don't have to go ahead and define the same 200 okay because this is a common test for all of these apis right so it's better not to have the duplication at each of the api level when you know that each of the api is basically verifying the same response code below this right you are verifying you are validating that each of these apis return the 200 ok response so we don't need to have the same test case in all each of these endpoints the better approach is to have those apis which for which you are testing something common and then define one test which is the common test at the folder level okay so this is at the folder level which is basically applicable for any of these apis right so now if even though there are no tests here okay so you'll see at the api level get project features there are no tests but if i'll send this particular request okay go to the response expand the response okay and see the test results you will see status code is 200 displayed here and executed right so there is a test where is this test coming from this test is coming from this particular folder okay you'll see if i go to this folder this is the test right that has been defined at the folder level success response level you can have a test at the collection level as well but then in that case you have to ensure that particular test that you are defining at a collection level is actually applicable to all the subfolders below that particular collection and all the apis right for example if you are defining a 200 ok test at a collection level then you have all the apis below this particular collection for which you are testing 200 ok response right not something else because then if you define a test at the collection level which is testing 200 ok that will be executed and then at this api level you are testing 401 okay so basically this api will return 401 which is you are testing unauthorized right and then you are also saying that for this particular api it should also return 200 that's not possible right there could be only one response if you are not sending authorization then it will return 401 so in this particular case if i define a test at the collection level which is 200 okay so that is where it is basically going to fail right now because i have removed this particular test from the collection level if i go to the this particular request and send it again it will be just one test right and that will be passing because this is specific test case for uh, this particular scenario any common test cases that are applicable to all the folders below a collection and the subfolders and apis within it that you can easily move to the collection level if not at the collection level for example in this case we can't move 200 okay at the collection level because we are testing other response codes as well so we can have a common set of apis for which we are testing say for example 200 response into a common folder and define a test at the folder level okay then if you are testing just 401 so for each of the api you will be having a 401 response as well so if we go for example here in the documentation you will see get project features right so if we have an unauthorized okay similarly if we go to the for example we go to the issues okay there will be 401 on the unauthorized for the issues as well get events okay 401 unauthorized create issue so you'll see create issue 401 unauthorized so for each of these requests wherein you are going to get 401 unauthorized you can create a separate folder 
and define 401 unauthorized test case at the folder level and have all the requests, API request below that folder and test unauthorized against or within that particular folder for all the APIs that you are going to test. So that will make things a lot easier to maintain in the Postman collection. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.